Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this extension review tutorial, you're going to learn about the AOE scheduler. That's right. So just like the other extensions which we've got in this series is what we're going to do, we're going to jump across to our Magento system and we're going to show you this working so that you can work out whether you would like to install this extension into your Magento system or not, as the case may be. And of course, if it does look like it's going to be useful to you and your business, just carry on watching the rest of the tutorial and we'll show you where you can go and download it for free, how to install it and also how to use it. So with that said, Dave, let's get across to our desktop and take a look at this extension. Let's do it. So Dave, we're back over on our desktop. As you'll see, just a standard in sort of Magento, but we do have the AOE scheduler installed and configured as well. You'll find out how to configure it later on in this tutorial if you decide that you would like to install this extension in your system. So from the top menu, you go to System, and the first tab which you get with this extension is called Job Configuration. And Dave, if we scroll down, we can now see all the different jobs which have been set up within our Magento site. And we can also got the option to disable them if we want to as well. So much you wouldn't have readily or ready access to within your Magento system. You'd have to go off and then either go and tweak the code or change the database settings for those. Next option which you get is called list view. This lists all the current tasks which have been going on with your Magento site. So if I now scroll down, Dave, we can see on here that the cron jobs to clear out the cached images and the core email send queue, they've all been successful. And that one there, the M2E Pro cron, that one's also been successful. But Dave, can you see below here, we've got a couple of which were missed. And if we click on the message, we'll see multiple tasks with the same job code were piling up. So it skipped the execution of the duplicates. We now know that's happening. Of course, we're quite happy with that because we can see above that the M2E Pro has got success next to it. So it didn't stack up lots of tasks on top of each other. If we scroll up to the top and go to system, scheduler and then timeline view one of my personal favorite views it allows you to see what's actually going on with your magento site so dave we can see there's all green across here that's happy days we can see what everything's running as we expect it to on a magento site but there's no red options in here any failures and again you may not know that with your magento site with this extension it will show you how to do that now, Dave, the configuration is pretty straightforward, except for one bit, which is setting up the cron tasks. Now, we do make the suggestion later on that to send the text which you need from scheduler and then instructions. If you get stuck with this section, which does look a little bit nerdy, if we're frankly honest, send that across to your web hosting provider and they'll be able to help you. But as for setting up a Magento extension, pretty straightforward. Find the code, install, and off we go. Yeah, that sounds great. So with that said, if that sounds like and looks like an extension which you would like to install on your Magento site, carry on watching the rest of this tutorial. We'll show you where to get this free extension from, give you a quick link, we'll show you how to install it, we'll also show you how to configure it as well. Of course, if this extension isn't for you, don't write us off straight away. We have lots of other extension reviews as well. Again, this is a nice way for you to see them working before you go and install them in your Magento site so that you can make the educated decision if you'd like to add this or other extensions to your site first. So that said, carry on watching this tutorial if you'd like to learn how to install this extension. If not, just check out the other tutorials which we've got either on YouTube or over on understandinge.com. Now, before we get started and install this extension onto our Magento system, and of course, if you're following this tutorial along and installing it on your system, there are five basic steps that you must take before installing any extension on your Magento system. Now, these are split into two sections. So firstly, before you do anything else, we want you to make a complete system backup of your Magento site. And once you've done that, turn off compilation. That's right. Now, during this tutorial, we'll actually go through these. We make a backup before installing each and every extension on our Magento site. And also you'll see us go in and just double check that compilation is turned off on our site. Now we are gonna assume that you've made those two steps. And Dave, there's three additional steps as well, aren't there? There are. Now, if you've installed Magento extensions before, these should be no stranger to you, but just for clarity, we're gonna run through them. 
Thirdly, you're going to add the extension and wait for that install to complete fully. So that's that green message, cache clears successfully. Exactly. Then we're going to return to the admin area and clear out all of the caches. And crucially, it's the biggest mistake I've made this for myself so many times, Dave. Remember to log out and log back in again. And that's especially important adding larger extensions because when you go into the, like, the configuration area, you'll end up with this big 404 error on your page. So with that said, let's go and get this extension installed. And you might have heard us say this one slide over and over again if you've been watching lots of the tutorials which we've made as part of this course, but it is super important. Do make a backup of your Magento system. Do just double check the compilations disabled. Do wait for the extension to complete its install. Do clear out your caches and do remember just to log out and log back in again. And those five steps are the steps which you have to make with any extension for your Magento store. So Dave, that was the boring ad bit out of the way. Let's go and get this extension installed. Let's do it. So up on your screen right now, you can see the link, which is understandinge.com forward slash get hyphen AOE. So after you've been and typed that into your web browser, you're going to come across to the Magento Connect website. And Dave, this is just like any other extension which we're installing here. Same rules apply. Make sure you've done a backup. You've turned the compiler off. And of course, we've come to the Magento site because we need the install key. Now, you will need to be logged in on the Magento site, and that link would have taken you straight to this page. So click on Install Now. Click on I agree to the extension license agreement, and then click on Get Extension Key. Then click on Select Key, right-click with the text highlighted, and choose Copy. That was quite a lot of clicks just to get the key, isn't it, Dave? <laughs> it is quite a few. With that aside, let's go back to our Magento site. And again, feel free to follow us along with your system at the same time. Now, obviously, we are assuming that you have checked that your compiler is turned off and also that you've been and previously made a full backup of your Magento site. So with that said, from the systems menu, go down to Magento Connect and the Magento Connect Manager. You'll most likely be required to log in. That's perfectly normal. Where it says number two, paste the extension key to install, click into that box, right click and choose paste, and then click on install. Now Dave, there is one extra step, which is we need to click on proceed underneath and we can see that's the AOE scheduler. So we'll click on proceed and just like installing in any other Magento extension, we're waiting for the magical words, cache clean successfully, which how is that for timing Dave? It's been and appeared at the bottom of the screen. So let's scroll back up to the top, and this is just like I said twice before, I think now, just like any other Magento extension. So after installing an extension, we need to go into System, down to Cache Management. We need to clear out our caches. We also need to flush our Magento cache, like so, that'll take a second or two. And we also need to flush the cache storage as well. So this will take us a few seconds to do. And do follow us along with these steps because the next step is crucially important because if you don't remember to log out and log back in again, when you go to the admin pages for this, you'll then start seeing 404 errors, which are a bit alarming when you first see them. And they're not helpful. They're not conducive to progress. <laughs> no, they're not. So let's click on log out like so, and let's go and log back in again. That was taking a second or two. So now we've been and got that extension installed. Now from the systems menu, Dave, can you see we've got a new option in here called scheduler? Yep. And we've got job configuration, list view, timeline view, and instructions. Now we are gonna suggest that you take a look at the instructions first. And this is just basically a check in there to make sure that your scheduler is running. Now the note here is that for this scheduler to work then you'll need to change your cron tab so that it runs the scheduler underscore cron dot sh instead of your cron dot sh file. Now if that makes absolutely no sense to you basically take a screenshot of this page or copy and paste this and send it to your web hosting provider and they will be able to help you setting this up. Now, Dave, we haven't been to set this up on ours yet. We may need to in just a few minutes, and we'll go away and do that in our system in a few moments' time. But let's have a quick look. We've got job configuration, and we will then be able to see 
all the cron jobs which have been set up in our Magento site. And you'll see that there's a lot. You'll see if we take at the top, we've got the M2E Pro cron, which runs in now. That's to be expected. We use the Magento to eBay extension to sell them to eBay and Amazon from our Magento store. And again, if you'd like to know more about that, nip across to understandinee.com. We've got a few tutorials to show you how to do that. Comprehensive, I think it's probably the best word, isn't it, Dave? Probably more than anywhere else. <laughs> yes, in the world. We've got a collection of other core tasks running on in here as well. Now, the crucial point here, Dave, we can see which ones are enabled. And also key here, we can also elect to disable a cron if we wanted to. So imagine the M2E Pro cron. I don't know why in the world you would want to disable that specific cron, but we use that one as an example and we could choose disable and then that will disable that cron. Again, it's just a great way of maintaining your Magento store over a long period of time and you can actually see what's going on. So that was our job configuration. If we go to list view, we'll be able to see when these tasks have been run. And again, our session are currently shown pending because we've not been and gone into the instructions to actually run it in the background. We will do that in a few moments time. And the other view is timeline view. And this is a great one, Dave, because we can actually see what's going on with our Magento store. So maybe we were sending out newsletters, for example, we can now see that number one, they're all green. Can you see on there, Dave? They are all green. And that's where we are right now. So we are recording this at two minutes past two in the afternoon. So we've got 1400. So that's where we are right now. We can see what's been scheduled to come up. And of course, all of these are green, Dave, which is great to see because if we had any red ones in there or any amber ones in there, that would indicate to us that there's an underlying issue with our Magento site, which we can now find out and then go on and to resolve. So we've been and gone away and we set up the cron and we waited for about two, three minutes, didn't we, Dave? Yeah, it was about that. Now, we did set this up with our hosting provider as a cron job, but we just kept seeing a red message at the top saying that the cron hadn't run, there was no heartbeat. Now, Dave, I went off and ran it manually in the background and I saw that we had a file permissions issue. That does sound very, very scary, but it is actually very easy to resolve. So if I just move this onto our screen, the scheduler underscore cron dot sh script, if you right click on that one and choose properties, you'll see when it first had it, it was 0666. I added the cross on there for execute enter for the owner and then clicked on OK. And then what's actually been happening since I've made that change is that it's actually been running in the background. So Dave, at the top, we now have the message. Scheduler is working, last heartbeat four minutes ago. So if I quickly go into job, there you go. Last heartbeat, zero minutes ago. So it's only just been in run in the background. That's fantastic. So if we now go into list view is that we will be able to see, and again, I've expanded the list out here from the left hand side where it says view. I've changed that from 20 to 200. And I'll now see in here what's going on. You can see what's going on with your Magento website. So Dave, we can see that we had some standard ones going on there. They were all successful, but core email queue sent all and the M2E Pro Cron they were missed. And is there a message with those? There you go. Can you see multiple tasks with the same job code were piling up, skipping execution of duplicates. So there is some intelligence into this one. And again, if you see before, that must mean that it was either running previously or let's be fair, I probably haven't canceled the original cron.sh script. That's why we're seeing those in there. I'm not that surprised on there. But crucially, we don't see any red messages in there at all which is a very very good sign and the thing is they've been now know that it's running that's the crucial thing if we go to the timeline view now it's running we can see that there you go we've got a couple of orange ones in there we can see what is happening with our magento site and of course we can generate a schedule by clicking the generate schedule button so that will now trigger on the next time around and if we click on cron configuration, this will take you into the system configuration area within your Magento site and then right down on the left hand side from the system menu. And then you'll be able to set up any additional options which you would like to set for your site. So if I click on cron at the top, this is where you've got complete control 
over your cron and of course you can log all the details out to a file if you wanted to as well and by the way you can also choose like a run now option as well which is super handy if you've got a much larger store and maybe you've been working on different things on your Magento site so in short the AOE scheduler allows you to enable or disable any of the cron jobs which have been set up on your Magento site. Well, number one, you can see them, whereas before they were all hiding just in a database table, you just couldn't see what's going on. And Dave, my favorite view on this one is the timeline view. We can actually see what's happening with our tasks on our Magento website. Yeah, totally. That's really cool layout as well. Indeed. So from myself, Dave, and of course, Matt, too, we sincerely hope that you have found this tutorial useful. And hopefully the AOE scheduler is an extension which you could use in your business. That's right. So with that said, from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. We both hope that you found this video tutorial useful. If you have, then subscribe to be kept up to date with more Magento themed tutorials. Back before myself and Matt started building Understanding E, I was under the impression that Magento was really nerdy and that you almost needed to be a developer to get the most out of it. And now, I know that that just doesn't have to be the case. That's why we built Understanding E, to show you that Magento is really easy to use and you can use it for your business to sell onto eBay and Amazon, and most importantly, that a degree in nerd is not required. If you would like to find out more about us and gain access to over 150 non-nerd step-by-step video tutorials on Magento, then please visit us at understandinge.com. And we'll see you there. Cheerios!